begin topic 1984 caught in an inferno of a genocide begin quote thermo rakshiti rakshita the protector of protectors itself protects the protector of dharam slash ethics and note ved shastra slash vedic literature and quote when the wolf comes wearing sheepskin wins their trust enough to take the role as their protector then know that the days of the sheep are nearing their end same is the condition in the country when the 1984 riots happen little mayuri to her brother chandrashekhar caught in this crossfire is also my dear small family now when i read the fear and dread written all over my father's face my face too starts showing similar expressions although on different causes his is over the mob while mine is over the reaction of my father in handling the mob my fears find fuel when i see him drawing the only old rusty sword he has had from ages seeing which i quickly scan for a hiding place a place that even if he found it out still could never get to now on seeing him give up his search for his weapon i give a silent sigh of relief now i can see the signs of dread on the face of judgmental people who are wondering what explanation a daughter can give for an action which has put her own father's life in danger my justification is simple as from all my observations all such false drama has no legs and lasts for 3 or 4 days more or less once the dust settles business resume as nothing had ever happened one will expect the judiciary will punish the criminals and also possibly reward the survivors with some meaningless titles and medals but instead what we actually see in this real environment around us that is plagued with materialism is that these paid goons from mafia when they kill get paid handsomely and continue to roam free on the streets while the same act if my father even if it was being for self defense and family's defense even if he's a citizen who pays his taxes same as the majority will be framed and sentenced with some cruel punishment which is worse than death this incident taught me an important lesson in survival when we are thrown in the middle of a swamp of corruption nepotism groups following dirty crowd manipulation tactics to satiate their never ending greed for money to buy these dangerous mind altering drugs which might help deaden the screams of rescue coming from the tormented soul inside rebelling against the lifestyle which is a complete opposite of their true self for becoming a self who they always despised like that horse who the tr- horse trainer could not domesticate because it would get anxious 
every time it would see its own shadow, tells an important lesson that wherever hypocrisy is king, it is wise to fight it with the tool of diplomacy, to try to become a rebel with strength that is not yet enough to overthrow the giant. Also, when such an event is fake, like some storm that will blow over in little time, then trying to fight this temporary storm is not bravery, but suicide. It is like destroying one's long-term goals for one's short-term goals. Unlike the wise man who gets petrified from the knowledge of the enemy fast approaching, the little ones in the family are not. He is blissful because he uses his imagination and not his mind, which has already envisioned his victory by defeating the enemy with their clever karate chops. While Mother Aditi from Khalsa community goes to her Hindu neighbor Mandodari's house to ask her for her help by giving her shelter till these wild winds will calm down. Mother, I be kind to my prey, not because of pity or any such silly thing, but because tomorrow, when it is my turn as a prey in front of my predator, I'm the one with the smile. Hindu neighbor Mandodari, my ethics cannot allow me to give shelter to people who belong to a religion which my government is hunting. I will have to live the rest of my life as a traitor who betrayed the orders of the leader of this country, Khalsa Mother Aditi. Enough is enough. Hearing such deluded words from an educated woman like you is making me extremely nervous about the whole future of this great nation. If you ever get the opportunity to see the an analysis report of our DNA, start note, deoxyribonucleic acid, end note. You will be surprised to see just the amazingly high extent that all people across the world have interbred. For that matter, the report even shows links to many other species like with fish, apes, and many other animals for that matter. Since ages, such injustices have been going on by distortion of facts. The agenda pushers are so effective that they can easily make us believe that the tyrant was loving like God while all those who stood up for their rights were troublemakers. Since ages, religion has served as an excellent tool in the hands of the manipulators to use the love of our ancestors as a blindfold so we never can see the obvious. Hindu neighbor Mandodari, what you're saying is resonating with me. And yet, why am I not able to accept it? Khalsa Mother Aditi, the reason for your inability to grasp this is that you too have fallen prey to the constant brainwashing that has not just started now, but from ages ago. How did this question even arise that we and Hindus are separate when all our gurus were Hindus? If only Guru Govind Singh Ji, our founder, would have known that this will take us away from our roots, 
he would never would have done it when his own father, Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji, is a Hindu himself. How can his intent ever be to not live in harmony with the Hindu community? Now, when I'm experiencing this unthinkable moment of shadow, seeing itself as separate than its own body, I can see just how clever and organized the enemy must be. This makes me see the bitter truth that we are all naked, that there is death all around us. By the time any information percolates down to our level, it is too late. When this awareness comes back to me, I hear the words from the scriptures echo loud in me. Dharmo rakshiti rakshita. Start note. The protector of dharam slash ethics is the protector of protectors itself. And this brings my smile back. When have you ever seen the average person like you and me taking part in arsenal and looting, especially when we have little time left after dealing with their daily battles of supporting himself and his dear family's needs? The Hindus are quiet now because they think it does not affect them, not realizing that time always reverses. And then when that time happens, know that you will be smiling because the ones who you help then will help you now. Even if I can see how tax structures are more like contributions towards some corrupt pyramid scheme, still I pay and then take some depression medication to deaden the voices of rebellion in me for doing these things that are against my ethics. Hindu neighbor Mandodari. Subhasham Shigram. Start note. Sanskrit language. Any beneficial task executed at the earliest possible. End note. Now, please make haste and also get your whole family to stay with us till you feel that the outside conditions have now become favorable for you. End topic.